needy is not sexy. You've probably had, in the, when you were a teenager, <laughs> a girlfriend or a boyfriend or someone that really was really keen to date with you and you were not really interested. And the more they tried, the more you pushed back. This is exactly what you are doing right now with your ex. You've probably done all the mistakes you could be doing, like begging, like crying, like telling them how much you love them, like calling them every day. And the thing is, when we do that, one step forward is actually one step backward for your ex. So I'm going to share with you nine things you could be doing right now to create that, to reverse that cycle, because what you're doing right now is not working at all. Jingle. I get my ex back.com. Everyone deserves a second chance. The first thing is to stop daily texting. So my ex don't forget me. <laughs> it's a misconception. Your ex won't forget you if you stop texting them for months. It's obviously more difficult than it seems because you are breaking a habit. You are breaking something that you've done for years, probably. And I know with my clients, they always come up with excuses, you know. There's the dogs, there's the bills, there's the stuff. Force yourself, be proud of each day spending without texting. It's a bit like smokers, you know, you count the days when you become a non-smoker. And each day will actually bring you closer to your goal. That's it. Radio silence, no contact, few weeks, few months. Focus on your own life rather than on the other. Stop spying, you know, there. WhatsApp status, their Instagram status. Stop monitoring their activity on social media. Maybe use that time to have a dopamine detox and remove social media for months. You'll see how great you'll feel actually, because again, there's a lot of studies explaining like social media could have you know lots of side effects and, and lead to depression when it's not used in the right way. So be focused on your life. Don't fo don't focus on, on, on her or on your ex's life. It's, when you focus on your ex's life, you're putting them in front of you. You're filling up your attention bucket with thoughts about your ex and it actually what would make you more depressed. So do things for yourself every day. Tidy up your place. Maybe you've been procrastinating on things. Read new things. Discover new things. Meet new people. Take care of your look. Go to the hairdresser. Buy you a massage or things like that. What you have to do also to acknowledge is a theory of small steps. If you feel that you want to do some sports, don't go and run a marathon tomorrow. Just put your running shoes, run 5k, three miles, and, uh, and go back and then the next day. And do it gradually because if you start too big, you're going to basically not be able to sustain those efforts. Third is to really set up routines. It is, and it's been studies about that, one of the best ways to fight anxiety and depression. It helps you get your life moving by having those routines, those habits. It's also optimizing your time. You don't have to think about what you're going to do because at 9 a.m. you take your running shoes and you go for a run. And, you know, have small goals. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, but move frequently closer to your goal and have that goal to sort of increase over time. Get up at the same time, do exercise every morning or meditation or yoga. If you're not really into sport, do yoga, do breathing exercise. Maybe go to the market, cook for yourself, you know, maybe a good meal, you know. Take that time for you and have that routine in place so you don't have to think about anything else. Because it's when we don't know exactly what we're going to do and it's when we are with our thoughts that we are feeling depressed because we are thinking about our ex. By having a routine, you make yourself functioning automatically and therefore you're more efficient. You don't have those thoughts in the back of your head and you feel happier because you're going to be basically progressing and not thinking about what you don't want to think of. So yeah, and learn about new things, TED Talks, books. Maybe you can share in the comment section books that you would recommend to people watching this video. Take a few hours or days just for yourself, you know, really spoil yourself. You know, we hate to be alone. We struggle to be happy every day and it's normal. I'm not blaming you for that. I've been there. It's awful. So maybe, you know, take care of yourself, dress well, 
have an evening for you, you know, treat yourself, you know, take, you know, deliver, buy you the best uh, from your best friends, a meal, um, laid on the table, you know, really, you know, go to the, go to the spa, get your nails done. If you're a woman, if you're a guy, get your nails done as well. I don't care. <laughs> go to the, um, take care of yourself, hairdresser, you know, make yourself like her, you know, in the bath, you know, take a bath and enjoy the life. Be also inspired by social media. So this one, be careful with this. Social media, I would use it to post things rather than reading things. So there's also apps actually that automate posting photos without going on Instagram. It's a bit uh, complicated. But in, a, in any case, what I'm saying is project your life like the best influencers. And I'm not saying that you should pretend to have an exciting life, but look what they are doing, you know, the travel, the they go to restaurant to exciting place and you have to basically think of your life right now as you are showcasing something amazing not especially to make your ex to react but mostly for you because you know if you go to a nice restaurant if you visit nice places if you go and travel to uh, great uh, you know great places great cities it's for you first and so it also reminds your friends that you're there and it helps you to vent as well don't be harsh, choose indifference. Hate and love are not the same, but they are, you know, the, the earth is round and they all join at some point. If you have any doubt, don't send a message. Ask yourself if you would be proud um, to send this message in 10 years. There's a rule that I call the grandma rule. Don't send anything that your grandma won't be proud of you. So if there's, you know, you're about to send something, tell yourself, would I be sending that message to my grandma or would my grandma be happy if I send those messages? Grandmas are really wise, obviously. A harsh message will make them think that a breakup was a good thing. It would comfort them in the decision because it means that there's resentment, there's already anger and they'll feel like, okay, now I think we're really over. So they are looking for a balanced and healthy, calm person who knows how to handle difficulties because obviously relationships are hard you want to be with someone who is easygoing in terms of managing a uh, harsh time. Call a counselor, a coach. There's a link below uh, if you want to have a call with me. It's totally free. Um, the first is in the description. The thing is, an external person will never have contact with your ex, will don't know you and your ex. And when we are deep in the middle of a situation, we tend to make the wrong choices because we have our hand, our head in the sand and we don't exactly know what's going on. Having someone who's not a friend, who's outside of the situation really helps because it provides you an objective view on the, on the situation and also challenge you. And I'm really <laughs> the kind of person who push you hard actually at being honest with you, at being honest with the relationship and tell you things that sometimes you don't necessarily want to hear, but you need to hear. This one, I'd love you to try that. Become a yes man. Do it for 24 hours. Yeah, say yes to everything. Someone telling you, yeah, do you want to watch this movie? Yes, do you want to go into this Zumba class? You hate Zumba, you go for it. Yes, be a yes person and play with it. Do it 24 hours. If you do it for a week, you might die. But do it for 24 hours. Tell your friends, I'm going to be a yes man or yes woman today. And you see, it's going to be really fun. Ignore their messages, so let time pass. If they are texting you right after the breakup, let it pass. Don't be proactive in the contact as well. It's very important, so really respect that radio silence, no contact. Be mindful not to respond right away. Conclusion, if it's time to change your cause and effect relationship right now, take back control, regular contact will be deceptive to your case. A radio silence will help you get back together. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Ciao.